Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. It's really time to get down to business making holiday treats if you're gonna share with friends and family and neighbors. And today I've got the easiest of easy. We're gonna make these delicious, crispy, crunchy pretzel turtles. And I can't wait to show you how they all come together. Today we're gonna share how to make a super quick and easy crispy pretzel turtle. Now, these are no secret. I have made them before many years ago, around six or seven years ago we did them on the channel. And I used some really cute Christmas shaped pretzels. And today we're gonna make them again. We're gonna update the video a little bit and I thought it would just be fun. If you have a lot of treats that you like to make and give away for the holidays, these are a no brainer. They're super easy, they're super delicious, and you can even put your kids to work making them, or at least, maybe unwrapping the Rolos. <clears throat> so what is a turtle? A turtle is a uh, chocolate covered caramel with pecan in it. So this is an easy way to achieve that same flavor, but we're gonna add a, a salty savoriness by putting it on top of a little pretzel. And I'm using these Snyder's Butter Crisps. They're called Butter Snap Pretzels, and they're my favorite kind of pretzel to use for this particular application. I like the shape, it's interesting, and when these are all finished, they're just perfect. They're a perfect little bite, and when you add them to a little um, cookie tray or gift box, we always like to give a gift box um, to our friends that we, we have a specific number of, of friends that we go around every holiday season and we, we spend a Saturday afternoon delivering and visiting and just having a really good time. So, we're gonna show you how to make these crispy pretzel turtles today and what you're going to need is obviously some pretzels you can use the mini pretzel twist you can use if you can find like the little pretzels that are just the little ring i can't find those anymore but those are great too or the christmas shaped pretzels those are uh, utz's will make um utz brand sometimes you can find those like at the big box like um sam's or costco they have little Christmas tree and star shapes in there. Those are fun. You're gonna also need some Rolos. Now, this is the thing that takes the longest time is unwrapping the Rolos. I'm using just a regular big bag of Rolos I bought at the grocery store and... Find someone you can trust to help you. Right, so if you don't think your kids can do this without eating all of them, then, you know, set them to that task. Or your husband. Or your husband. But he actually did unwrap these for me so it's like and then we're gonna need some pecans now i usually keep my uh, pecans in the freezer so i went through and i hand picked each pecan half because i'm a little picky i want them to look really nice i want a nice big pecan half and when you buy them in the big bag like i do sometimes they're not very pretty and they're broken you don't want any broken pieces you want these to be nice whole pieces of pecan and that's it. You just need these three ingredients and you're going to have a really great little candy. So I'm going to bring over the baking sheet. We're going to start building these. They're so simple. You guys won't believe it if you've never made these. Okay, so now you guys, anybody can do this. It's super simple. It's almost embarrassing. So simple. Put your pretzel down on your baking sheet. Line them all up like little soldiers. Then take your unwrapped Rolo. I think it's funny that I have to say that. Your unwrapped Rolo. And place one Rolo on top of each pretzel just like this, and then preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Now, you don't want it to be any hotter than that because these only take a couple of minutes. You want these to get nice and soft so that when they come out of the oven, ugh, all you have to do is press that toasted pecan half right in there. Now, I if I forgot to mention it, I did toast my pecans. I laid them out on a baking sheet and stuck them in the oven while it was preheating. I didn't have to expend any extra energy because I was already preheating the oven. But now we have these over here and then we're gonna pop this in the oven which has been fully preheated and we're gonna put them in there for three to five minutes. And when they come out, I'm gonna show you what they look like. Little turtles have been in the oven. I had them in the oven for four minutes. And now it's, you can see how shiny they look. That's when you know it's time to pull them out. Now I did set my timer on my phone and that seemed to be just perfect. Now you're gonna take a pecan half and you're just gonna smush one right on down in there for each one. And then you're just gonna let these cool. Now, you can stop there or you can grab yourself some dark or white chocolate and you can drizzle over the top. 
You can also add a little flaked sea salt here or some Malden salt or you know even a little sprinkling of Himalayan pink salt if you have a nice uh, coarse grind and that's going to add an extra level of flavor um, because my pretzels are salted then I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave these exactly the way they are you can see how nice they look so I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then when I come back I'm going to show you what they look like when they're all ready to give away our crispy crunchy pretzel turtles are all done they um, when I finished up I let them kind of hang out on the shelf in my fridge for about five minutes just to set them up and now I've put them in a beautiful little tin for you just to present and this is an option for you if you're gonna give these away as a treat you can make a bunch of them they're not expensive they're really easy and if this is the only thing you're gonna give what a great gift for someone who is a lover of the caramel pecan turtle who wouldn't love these right and then also um, these are great as a little addition you can put these in a if you have a box and you just line it with cupcake liners you can put a little a few maybe half a dozen in cupcake liner um, you can also get those little individual cupcake clamshell containers from um, Amazon there are about 50 of them for about $10 and that will help you make a really beautiful presentation if you're gonna get one of those cute little photo boxes from Michaels for like two or three dollars and then you can just line up all those little cupcake containers in there filled with all your goodies and treats that you've made it's a really easy way to present and you can just fill it with some shred or whatever today I have this tin I did crumble up a piece of parchment in the bottom to give it some lift and then I folded a piece of parchment in it and that's it so that's super easy super simple and everyone's gonna love these and the cost is really not that bad you're most expensive thing is probably going to be the candy, but in the long run, if you're going to spread these out over several gifts, you can easily make one bag of, of the Rolos is going to make about 90 of these. Uh, there's about 85 or 90 pieces of candy in that big bag, so keep that in mind. That's, that's a lot of bang for your buck with some pretzels and some pecans. Easy peasy. So, I hope that you give these super simple, crispy, crunchy, pretzel turtles to try sometime soon, whether it's for holiday gifting or just snacking. And I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.